independent schooling. They pulled the rug from under him. They suspended him in a Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse General Medical Council, Mickey Mouse Court. They're going to strike him off. Do we care about the GMC? No! Do we care about the wonderful Dr. Adele? Yes! Let's hear it for Dr. Adele! Yes! Thank you very much. My fellow citizens of the world, this little guest, Organizers and professionals, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dr. Adia. It's an honor and privilege to welcome you all at the glorious get together at the heart of the world, Trafalgar Square in London. Standing here, I am very proud of British multinational, multicultural, and multinational traditions. Yes! First of all, let me pay my gratitude for my unusual presence at this podium. Our homes may be thousands of miles apart, but our hearts are beating together today, and we are together, Lord Freedom Parties, we are together. Yes! I am very proud of you, in spite of rigorous restrictions and difficulties, you have managed to travel all over the world to join us at this glorious get-together. And I must congratulate you that you have already won. Yes! I must pay my tribute all the fellow citizens and brothers and sisters who have made this day even possible. And on top of that, my heart goes to the organizers and the wonderful people who have done day and night efforts to make this day even possible. Yeah! My name is Dr. Mohammed Adel. Yes! I am a surgeon with 30 years of unblemished Career, yes! Yes! Go! I am fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons of the United Kingdom and I am chairman of three international medical organizations. Recently, we have established World Doctor Alliance. Aji. Aji. Around that platform, we have extended our approach all over the world. Get all the health professionals on board to help you out. We stand with the public. We stand with the masses. We stand with the lightest. We stand with the top speakers. We stand with the freedom fighters. As you know, lockdown has threatened millions of public around the world. Globally, 7.6 billion people are affected. And I must appreciate their endurance and strength to maintain their pressure and to stand against the atrocities and the tyranny that you all deserve to be appreciated. Lockdown is brought. The police are coming over here. We need more guys. Please don't come across the stage so that Dr. Adil can finish speaking. We need some guys over here. We are peaceful. Men, I can see if you're not moving, you two handsome black guys in the middle. Yeah, you with the Kelvin Klein tops on. Come on, you're fabulous and gorgeous. Yeah! Come on. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank 
and there is no indication that these people would have been source of infection to any other patient. Therefore, I stand with the figures and I stand here with the commitment that we want to, to take a stand against the atro atrocity. That's what I raised this point during, during the time I was working and I was penalized by my regulator on the, purely on the basis of what I spoke with the public. But I guess what I'm saying now, that is exactly the mirror image. I had unblemished record for 30 years for my NHS. Yes! was suspended for 12 months without any justification and there's a message to the General Medical Council this is the time to look inside this is the time to pay any reflection what you have done to the thousands of doctors who have been penalized and they have actually most of them have suicided and they have gone, they left their jobs they have taken up everything for the old job this is not right it's time to really reflect upon yourself and then, yes I would only give two messages. One is to the health professionals and the other one is to the government. My message to the health professionals is we have given vote, the Hippocratic vote, that is totally based. That is totally based on the medical ethics. And according to that vote, we should not give any poisonous substances to our patients. Neither I would promote anybody to inject any substance to the, to the public. Yes. We need some people at the back. Please don't come around the stage. They're coming at the back. This side, quickly, guys. Around the back. I can see all you fabulous men standing there. Come on, it's your time. So ladies and gentlemen, I was... I, I'm just going to say... The, the medical ethics say do no harm to your patient. That's what we're standing for. Yeah. My message, my message to that professional is at the end, in the end of the day, in the end of the day, we will remember not, not the words of the enemies, but we will remember the silence of our friends. Yeah. Our greatest glory is not in ever falling. Our greatest glory is not in ever falling, but in rising. Yeah. Because this man really knows what's going on. He's fighting the government for you. 